Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Dexter Easy Lube Replacement Grease Cap. These little uh, grease caps, honestly, are almost a maintenance item. Um, and I say that because when you go to service a trailer and you need to take this off, uh, typically you're gonna take a mallet or something and, and tap on it and work it around to get this to pop off. And what happens, usually after the first time, because these aren't super solid, Here's the old one uh, that I'm replacing. And even just lightly tapping it, it starts to get dented and kind of deformed. And that's only after one time um, being careful. So if you do this a couple of times, usually it's just unusable. Um, and so not a bad idea to keep this all straight and in good shape because if you ding this in too far, it might not seal up right or it might start to hit uh, against the uh, you know, other parts inside of here. And so having a replacement like this, instead of trying to deal with the headache of straightening this out and making it work, pick one of these up and just replace it and, and call it a day. Um, I do want to mention though, these are not going to come included with these little rubber plugs. Um, and so if you need, you know, if those are damaged or missing or whatever, you can always grab them separately. Or if your old ones are in good shape, uh, like mine was, you can always just go ahead and reuse them. In terms of what this is going to fit, uh, it's going to work with a lot of different, a um, lot of different trailers. Generally speaking, um, you know, most 3,500 pound axles and down. Um, but, you know, a good idea to kind of compare your old cap and uh, make sure it's going to be what you need. So to give you an idea there, the outer diameter is going to be one point. Uh, 986 of an inch, which is pretty standard, like I said. Um, so chances are pretty good. You'll be in good shape as, as long as you have all those type of axles. And in terms of the overall height of this, okay, so from this part down to the very bottom, it's going to be about an inch and three eighths. And from the lip there down to the bottom, it's going to be an inch. And I mentioned that dust uh, cap hole. This is pretty standard. This is 1.1 uh, uh of an inch in size. And uh, there's a ton of different options in terms of plugs, if you need them, that will fit this. The whole point of this opening here is uh, for you to be able to take out you know, your rubber plug and have quick access to the grease cert fitting uh, inside of there on your spindle. That way you can take your grease gun, you know, put a few pumps of grease in there and maintenance the bearings and, and keep everything going good uh, with, with relative ease. Um, but with that said, you know, really not a whole lot to this. Um, uh, you know, most important thing is just going to be making sure that it actually fit inside of your hub there, which like I said, it'll work with a lot of different axles. Uh, but if you'd like to stick around, what we'll do is go over to the other side of the trailer get the old cap removed and get this one put on. To get the old one off, you know, you can take your mallet. Just kind of work it side to side. A lot of times it's easier too if you get the tire up in the air, you can rotate it, but being that we're replacing it anyway, not a huge deal. You can see how these things are easy to get kind of tore up, you know. But that one uh, has popped off. We'll go ahead and steal the cap so we can bring it over. And before I put the new one on, I think I'm gonna come in here and get some of this old grease cleaned up and, and uh, just kind of get everything in line. I went ahead, got some of this old grease and stuff just cleaned up out of there. And to put our cap on, I like to just put a little bit of grease there, give it some lube and when you drive these in, you want to try to drive them in straight. Uh, you can use a mallet or block of wood and then hit it like that. Uh, they also make tools that fit around this perfectly to drive in. What I do is just take a big socket that fits it. This is an inch and seven eighths. Works out pretty well. The trick is just to kind of get it going straight. Tap it in until it seats. And what I'll do is just pack a little bit more grease in here just to be safe. 
Once we get that little bit of extra grease in there, at that point you can go ahead and put your cap back on. So that's really about it in terms of getting that uh, replaced. Being that these are sold individually, uh, if you picked up a pair or a set, which is what I'd recommend doing, uh, you'd simply repeat this same process on the other side. And that'll finish up our look at of the Dexter Easy Lube replacement grease cap.